Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, Simuke here. This is Microbrewery Tycoon. The developer reached out to me and said, would you take a look at our game? And I said, yeah, sure. This is something I could find quite interesting. Straight off the bat, I'm quite liking the music, actually. Yes, definitely liking the music. We've got Russian, English, German, French and Spanish. Other than the fact that English should be first, I'm only joking, uh, I think it's pretty good. I like the kind of um, chalk style writing. This is what you would find in a British pub. And uh, I'm really keen to get in. Try styles, branded styles, settings. I don't know. Let me tell you a little bit about this game. Booze, Boozyville. So this is an economic strategy about microbrewery management. Your craft beer should become famous all over the world. There are, believe it or not, 106 styles of beer, 46 types of ingredients, and a campaign of 10 scenarios with a single plot. Creating your, You get to create your own unique beer styles, various customers offering four types of contracts, uh, organization of production lines to automate the brewing process, organization of beer transportation to customers, personnel management and you can open and equip your own pubs and there's more than 150 unique quests sounds all right doesn't it one day you got carried away with the production of craft beer and quite unexpectedly for yourself fell in love with this work the smell of fresh hops and malts the taste of brewed with your own hands beer the constant sharpening of skills, all that excited your mind and gradually became a part of your life. Having accumulated startup capital, you have opened a small brewery in the small town of Boozyville. Your old friend and experienced brewer, Tony, decided to help you. Thanks, Tony. Brewery name. Sim Sips. There we go. Your name is Sin UK. My logo, craft beer, craft brewery. Boom, 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 boom. Mm, nice jugs. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, that's quite a few. Bloody hell. Ah, uh, that's. I'm going to go with that. Body. <laughs> love this art style. It's very unique. That's kind of me, actually. Change my hair. That's kind of me. Eyes. <laughs> oh, definitely that one. Mouth. I've always wanted one of them, so we're going to go with that. Let's do it. All names and titles in the game are completely fictitious. Hey, okay. Hello, my friend. Or is it more correct to address you as the best brewer in this part of the galaxy, eh? Why haven't you warned me in advance that you have been planning to open a brewery? In this case, I have had brewed strong ale so we can celebrate this event. Good start. What do I do? What do I click on? Day one. So these are the start and go things. Oh, wow. These are houses. That's a beer shop. This is my brewery. That's the supermarket. So that's a best choice supermarket. Pub, the dancing pony. How cool is that? Right, okay. And when have you got interested in craft beer? I don't remember you having such hobbies. You say you have invested all your savings in the business. Oh, we have a serious businessman here. Step aside, brewing corporations meet a new player, Sim Sips. As a true friend, I will help you. After all, this is what real friends do. Help each other, right? I've been working in the brewing business for a long time and I can give a couple of tips that will be useful to a beginner. This town, Boozyville, is well known to be to me. Quiet, cosy, locals love beer. Goes in a good place to open a brewery. Oh, well, let's look for orders. The green label in the centre of the screen is your brewery. The remaining tags are potential customers. In order to move around the map, use WSAD keys or the arrow keys. Use one of the customers. There's the Dancing Pony. Gotta be them. At the bottom of the window, you can see the contracts which the customer can offer you at the exact moment. Choose one of them and sign it. It is better to have as few conditions and requirements as possible in the contract. 
If you want, you can choose another customer. Uh, well, that looks pretty good. A cosy place with friendly staff and low lighting. 95% discount for hobbits, wizards and heirs to the royal throne hiding under the guise of vagabonds. <laughs> I'm liking this. this. It's definitely got a comical element to it, which uh, I appreciate. So that needs to have a certain bitterness. That needs to have a certain strength. No requirements. Okay, let's do that one. Purchase price, 16%. So we're going to make 16% profit. No requirements for accept. So you have signed the first contract. Let's get to work. Open the controls panel by pressing tab. Alrighty. This is the control panel with which you will conduct your business. There are a lot of tabs, but different information in this tab. For example, there is a list of finished beer, which is stored in the brewery's warehouse. I've got something in store for you. Don't thank me. Find a batch of beer which meets the terms of the contract and click the destination button. Um, a batch of beer, well, none of them do. 200, 100, all different. That's a pale ale, that's an amber ale, that's a dark ale, lager, that's an American lager. None of them have got 300. Find a batch of beer which meets the terms of the contract and click the destination button. None of them do. I suppose I could do that and that because that is 300 beers and they didn't specify anything. So maybe that's it. Before taking the goods to the customer, let's organize the production. After all, the initial reserves will soon run out and we'll beer. Open the production tab in the control panel. Let's create a new production line, pressing this button. At the first glance, everything is quite complicated, but even if even even I've figured out all these buttons, you will do so for sure. Listen carefully. Each production line consists of a malt preparation tank, a brewing tank, a whirlpool, and a fermentation tank. Water and the malt are poured into the malt preparation tank. This is then poured into the brewing tank. The hops are added. After that, the wort is moved into the whirlpool and if needed, additives are added. In the end, the blend is poured into the fermentation tank for the initial fermentation and the yeast is added. Yeast goes in last. I see you've already purchased all necessary equipment. Now choose appropriate tanks in order to assemble them into a production line. Great. Do I remember what you just said? Not at all. I think preparing tank. Brewing tank. Oh, it helps you anyway. Whirlpool. Fermentation tank. Keep going down there. Well done. Now you have to decide which style you're going to brew. In every city, different styles will be available. However, styles with which you will come up or which you will receive as a reward for completing tasks will always be at your disposal. Okay. Press this button and select the style for the first brewing. Choose the one that corresponds to the requirements of the signed contract. So I don't care what the contract wants. I like pale ale, pale lager. In Good. Now choose the maximum number of pints. Only a hundred. Now you need to select a brewer which will control the process. Guess who's that? Guess who that is, rather. As long as you don't have employees, you will be both the brewer and the mechanic alone. You can service two production lines and one car. If you want to expand, you will have to hire new people. It's going to be me. What an attitude. Now choose, the, now choose a supplier for each ingredient type. Pay attention to the dependability. The higher it is, the higher is the reliability of the supply and the quality of goods, but so is the price. Let's go for aggro because they're almost as good as them and a lot cheaper. This. Same principle. This. Popcorn.
stay out. Amazing, you're almost there. Choose the destination. If there is only storage in the last select in the in the list, select another brewing style. However, in this case you have to choose supplies again because different brewing styles require different ingredients. Great job. Now press this button in order to set the brewing mode single and start the production line. Cool. Here you are. Brewing process has begun. Once it's done, we will talk about wort fermentation and transportation of the finished beer. By the way, here I've prepared a mini encyclopedia in case you forget something. You can open it at any time by clicking on the button with the question mark in the upper right corner of the window. Cool. And now you can turn off the pause, just press the space bar and we're away. And we're making beer. Nice. That's a lot quicker than I was expecting. So our money's going down rather rapidly. Get some cash coming in soon. So, the wort is brewed, but for now it cannot be drunk or sold. To turn it into a ready-to-drink beer, the wort must be fermented. Fermentation usually lasts from one to three weeks, depending on the style. You can plan the production ahead, like automate. Just use a thing like a brewing schedule. This will help you to carry out an uninterrupted supply of beer. Open the production tab on the control panel and click the brewing schedule button. As you can add many styles, oh hang on, you can add as many styles as you want here. Choose the brewing mode, suppliers and the number of pints for each of it. All of them will be brewed on the production line in course. When the entire list is completed, everything will start over. Uh, international Pale Lager. You can add as many styles as you want here. Choose the brewing mode. 100. Oh, I see. We're just doing the same thing, but in a sort of smaller, smaller way. The dancing pony. All right. Is that done? Brewing mode isn't chosen. Brewing isn't possible. Brewing mode isn't chosen. Where's the brewing mode? It is chosen. I don't understand that. It's telling me here that the brewing mode isn't chosen, but this is the brewing mode and I've got it set to repeat. So. Oh, hang on. If I unpause it. I can't unpause it. Speaking of brewing modes, brewing mode single means that the batch will be brewed only once and will be removed from the schedule after completing the entire lift. If you want the batch to be brewed at each new cycle, set the brewing mode to repeat. In the skip mode, the batch will not be brewed, but it will not be removed from the schedule either. And now let's sell the beer which is stored in the warehouse until its expiry date is not expired, and it will expire in eight days. To transport beer to the customer, we will need a car. Open the Cars tab on the control panel. <coughs> okay. I can't seem to figure that out. I guess it's because we're in the tutorial. Let's carry on. Cars. 
So far, you only have a one. You only have one car. If necessary, you will buy more in the future. Each car automatically delivers ready-made beer to customers, fulfilling the contracts which have been entered into its transportation schedule. Open the transportation schedule of your car. Add a previously signed contract to the schedule. After that, the car will automatically take to the customer those batches of beer which have the appropriate destination point. If the destination point is not specified or does not coincide with any of the contracts in the transportation schedule, the beer will be gathering dust in the warehouse. Each car must be serviced by an auto mechanic. That's cool. There is no one to service this car yet except you, so choose yourself as an auto mechanic. How do I choose myself as an auto mechanic? there. You can turn off the pause. If you have done everything right, the first batch of beer should be sent to the customer any minute. Comes. Look at that. It doesn't, doesn't turn the corner. It just stays as is. Okay, that's fine. Bomb. We made seven, nearly 700 quid for that. Now he's coming back for more beer. Looks like we're producing. Go back to production. Pause that. Brewing schedule. Now it's green. So it was just because it was paused. All right, good. Congratulations on your first earnings. It's nice when the client's money comes on your account, isn't it? I wish that this feeling will visit you as often as possible. But if you will urgently need money, then take a loan. Statistics tab on the control panel. Where's the... Statistics tab on the control panel. I have no idea what that is. We'll find it. I'm sure you will succeed. Brew a beer. Fulfill... Oh, hang on. In here. Statistics. Yeah. That's it. Take a loan. I'm sure you will succeed. Brew beer, fulfill contracts, and sign new ones. Don't forget about the quality of the product. It's important. Address to the encyclopedia if you have any questions. I'll stay in town for a while. Maybe I'll give you some more advice. Good luck, brewer. Tutorial completed. So, your first task is to fulfill five contracts. You can work with any customers, including random ones. Okay. Let's tell the... So they want wheat. So they want 400 ABV between 4 and 6. Purchase price 0%. What? Why would I want to do Purchase price 0%. What? I don't want to sell them anything. What's this? The beer shop. No requirements. Why is this at 0%? Right, we'll test it. We'll do a test. Production. So this is producing quite nicely. Beer station contracts. There we go. And we're up and running. Okay. So, I'm a little bit out of my depth at the moment. I'm not quite sure I know what I'm doing. But we're producing some beer. So that's set up. Um, so these are the warts. I'm not quite sure I know what to do with the warp, to be honest. Strength is between four and six on all of those, so I can send them. Yep, that's 5.4. That's good. Fermentation time. Okay, so it's going to take a little while for these to ferment. Oh, yeah. Styles, production. Um, I think. Copy. How do I add a new one? 
Oh, is it in there? Oh, there we go. Copy. Boom. Good. So we've now got double the amount on the go. I think. What's this? Policy bonus. 0.8%. Okay, that's, that sounds negative. Five contracts, 21D, 31D. What's B? Contracts. Quests, cars, pubs, employees, statistics. Spoiled beer, none. Average quality, eight beer. Shelf life is running out. So let's, let's give this beer to these guys. Is that the right? Yep, it's the right strength. Okay. We're getting some beer. Good. I think that's working. Beer shop, beer station, new quest is available. Another hundred beers. So we've got no beer at the moment. We've got lots of beer in the wart. Oh, that's good. Way too many of them are going over there. That contract is going to be finished before that comes out. take that look i'm so running out of money this is crazy i'm not sure i'm quite getting the profit so the bitterness needs to be between 13 and 28 strength we can do strength we can do so let's go in here supplier associated farms new quest available lots of quests coming in So, I think this needs to go to the pony. Okay, so lots of these are now going... I see. So we'll have two in storage. That's okay. What have we got here? Supermarket. No requirements. Except that. Let's get production. No. Let's get you go there. there. Perfect. <clears throat> right, I think we're on the money. Well, uh, I say on the money. I don't mean that, of course, because we have no money. Perhaps I ought to go into production, check this out, and maybe. You are in arrears. If your debts exceed 5,000, you'll go broke. We're going to skip that one and just have one batch processing. Right, so I need to come to cars and I need to add all these, right? soon as they're ready they take them out that's what i wasn't doing okay so that's where the money's going to come in that should be about 180 200 uh 519 okay we're almost out of debt i can see this is going to be challenging and i feel like maybe i need another car already As soon as we're in debt, just out of debt now. So this is my closest customer. I should definitely do some deals with them. OK, 
Okay, so we'll add that to the contract list. Look at the wart. So, sub, two, three, four. Tracking. I have two beers in storage that are going to go out of date. That's not good. Oh, the game crashed. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a shame. I was kind of getting into that as well. I'm going to fire her up again and we'll see whether or not it saved uh, our file. By the way, guys, this game's £8.29. It's an early access game, so it's still in development. This is not the finished, finished article. Very much a beginner's type thing. From developer Slava Viktorov, uh, who also is the publisher. So let's load the autosave and hope that it works. Where are we at? So we're in debt. Have a look at our contracts. Uh, production? No. Ours. All of those contracts are in. Got now. Contract. Right, so we're going to take this one on again. I'm going to come here. I'm going to say, take that. Can I move these to the top? Now that's prioritized. Minimum cargo, 300. Change that down, 200, 200 in stock. We've got 200 beer that are almost going out of date. So let's send this to Maxi Sub. Is that them? Yep. Maxi Sub. Let's send them to Maxi Sub. Right, so I'm paused and we'll see how we get on. We're in debt. Let's see if we can fix this. That's a lot quicker. That's 400 we just dropped off there. Boom. That's nearly a thousand coins we got for that one. Thousand dollars. Still, I mean, look at the money. It's going down crazy fast. Situation. We've got one beer, <clears throat> got one, a whole bunch of stuff coming in the wart. Uh, we can change that for oh, I'm getting there, I'm, I'm getting this, I am understanding. So, I just want to get a bit of cash in the bank. That's that's my goal. Why is there a hundred... So what's the maximum amount that you can carry, I wonder? Yeah, again, look. So that's the wart. We've got two beers ready. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go back to cars. I'm going to say, don't take anything less than... ...300. So we are going to go into debt a little bit here. What's the production? So the production is still on the go. The wart... They're pretty full. We only have two contracts left. That's 600 beers going out. Right, let's get the Dancing Pony sorted first. Hopefully sorted too. And then we got four lots of beer going into storage. Contracts. Oh, nice. Uh, no requirements. Except that. 
go back to cars. So he wants 500 beer. Oh, we've only got 20 seconds. Oh, God. So I can't assign that to a contract. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. How do I look at contracts? Contracts. Suppliers, objectives. Is it objectives? No. Suppliers, production. Three stars. Pubs, cars, beers. Hmm. going on with this contract here then purchase price ah oh, it's got to be wheat no requirements styles american international or cream ale international amber lager but that one i think we can do Let's just pause it a second because i've got myself confused here how do i ship them to, to these contracts that's what i'm confused with a moment because the contracts Zoe McAvoy so she wants 500 wheat pints okay if I go into production I need to change this now don't I new production line here we go I got it so ah oh, we haven't got we haven't got Ah, it's all starting to make sense. Buy equipment. Bomb. Not enough money. How much are they? 300, 300, 300, 400. Got myself into a bit of a situation here, guys. So it's going to take on 300. Gonna take on a couple there. No requirements. Four hundred pints. Except that, yes, definitely. A dancing pony. Bitterness. No requirements. Four hundred pints. That contract on. No requirements. So that's plenty of beer that's going out. Get rid of that for now. Come back in to this. I'm not sure we need two things going on. Oh, that looks like a bug. I can't, I can't get rid of that, whatever I do. So, carry on. What's going on here? Brewing is impossible. Storage is full. What? Come on, shift these beers out. I haven't done the cars if I pause and fix this. Cars take uh so he's gonna take five hundred of that. Try and put them in in order. So 15, 15, 16. Big order, small order, small, small, small. Minimum cargo, 200. Right. So that should be good. Now we just need to get all these drinks out. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right, do it. Go. 600 bottles of beer on there. They're just in date, hopefully. But we're well in debt. If we go to 5,000 debt, we're done for. I think production has started again. Yep. 
Okay, good. Objective completed. You have met the shortest deadlines, and as a reward, you receive recipes for two new styles of beer, American Light Lager and Wheat Wine. Your next goal is to sign two contracts for the permanent supply of beer. When your relationship with the customer reaches 85, you can sign the contracts with him for permanent delivery. The relationship with the customers will improve if the quality of the beer you sell does not decrease. That's going, why is the quality bonus going down? I don't understand what, what's causing that. Anyway, we've got loads of beer in there. I think loads of contracts are being dealt with, right? Still in debt. Going. We really need another car and an employee. Uh, that was less than a thousand. Where's he taking that hundred? debt still in debt so the Mackie subcontract has been fulfilled right. these are the beers we've got go one two three almost out of debt we're just not making enough beer, basically. But that will complete that contract. He's not going to take it because there's only 100 beers there. So what's in the wart? A couple here that are nearly done. One, two, three, four. Wow. I think maybe we ought to set this to maximum. Unless you've got 600 bottles of... 600 pints of beer on there, don't take it. Right, so, quest, without reducing the quality, without reducing the quality, good afternoon, our new manager plans to attract customers in this regard, we want to conclude a special contract with you, you undertake to supply us with at least 1500 pints of beer with a quality of at least 50, and we undertake to further increase the purchase prices for the products, how do you like this offer, yep. If you don't, if you hint, if you do not want the beer to be sent to a pre-specified customer, for example, the quality of the beer is too low. Open the list of fermenting wort, find the batch of beer you're interested in, select storage as the consumer. So we've got to send them fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred bottles of beer. Very tricky, isn't it? With just one car, at least. I think you should be able to swap these around, like drag them up or something, or move them up and down. Just because times are wasting and uh, stuff needs to be done. But this needs to be a wheat beer. This is this is one we're not going to complete. This one. do not have any wheat beer. What's in the warts? Right. 
Okay. Speed things up a little bit. I think we need to get these beers out. some cash coming in or we're going to go broke touch the sides I don't see how we're going to get out of debt here right cars 600 quid, wow. We're going to have to take a loan, aren't we? American Lager International Amber. That's what we're making, isn't it? International Amber. I oh, know, International Pale. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's another contract that's not going to work out. Production cost 261, sale price 300, so that's tiny profit. Tiny, tiny, tiny profits. That's not good enough. Relations are at 13, beer station. A few problems here. This. Andrea Emerson, purchase price plus five percent. No requirements. Take it. Cars from Andrea Emerson. We're not going to be able to do those, so going to leave them. I don't know what happens when we fail, but so it's not good. Uh, right, so that needs to go there. That needs to go there. I could go there. Go. Now we've just got this contract to do. Red Ryan, failure to meet the deadlines of the contract. 23,000. What? Look at this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Infinity. <laughs> Unfortunately, your business has been frankly bad lately. You got into debt, but you couldn't straighten things out. The only correct solution in this situation will be the beginning of the bankruptcy procedure of your company. Maybe someday in the future, luck will smile on you, but that will be another story. Okay, do you know what? I, I actually really enjoyed that game. Um, I was starting to get into the flow of it when, well, quite frankly, we were robbed at the end there. I was just thinking about taking a loan out so I could get more barrels and stuff and produce more beer. But, I actually think that's got a lot of legs. Um, graphically, I like the look of the menus and stuff, but graphically it's not it doesn't wow you. But we don't know how big it gets yet. Um, it may progress into much bigger maps with much more pubs and much more stuff going on. I think this game, for £8.29, has a hell of a lot of game to it. I'm really quite impressed, actually. 
that was just a first look guys 45 minutes before my company folded um but yeah i learned a lot and i wouldn't mind playing that again that was quite fun i did enjoy that but let me know what you think that's more important than what i think tell me your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye for now